What to do with dandelion and the number one deadly mistake to avoid. Latin name, Taraxicum. Other common names, lowball, cankerworth, lion's tooth, priest crown, puffball, swine snout, white endive, and wild endive. Description. The dandelion is a perennial plant found almost everywhere in northern hemisphere. Leaves are 2 inches to 5 inches long or longer, simple lobed, and form a basal rosette above the central taproot. The flower heads are yellow or orange colored on a hollow stem and rise 1 inch to 4 inches or more above the leaves. The puffball that succeeds the flower is a globular cluster of achenes. Each is fitted with a parachute-like tuft. Parts used Leaves, roots, and flowers. Dandelion has been used as an herbal remedy to help with infections, muscle aches, joint pain, eczema, and bruises. Also, as herbal medicine, it is a mild laxative for constipation. As a plant bitter, it is to improve digestion, promoting the flow of bile. Dandelion is also a diuretic primarily in the circulatory areas. It will help to reduce blood volume, high blood pressure, and water throughout the body. It will also help to reduce high uric acid levels. Dandelion has two particularly important uses to promote the formation of bile, and to remove excess water from the body resulting from liver problems. The root especially affects all forms of secretion and exertion from the body. Dandelion may help lower elevated levels of liver enzymes. It may also help with hives, allergies, hay fever, and excess anger. By acting to remove poisons from the body, it acts as a tonic and stimulant. The fresh juice is most effective, but dandelion is also prepared as a tea. Lukewarm dandelion tea has been recommended for dyspepsia with constipation, fever, insomnia, and hypochondria. An infusion of the fresh root is said to be good for gallstones, jaundice, and other liver problems. Dandelion leaves, bitter, are juiced, infused as tea, or used as salad greens, especially in the springtime. The leaves are rich in vitamins and minerals like calcium, magnesium, iron, vitamins A and C. Preparation and dosage. Use the whole plant before it flowers, the leaves during flowering, and the root alone in the fall. How to extract the maximum nutrients and benefits from the dandelion plant. Infusion. Steep two tablespoons of plant or root in one cup of boiling water. Take one half to one cup a day, lukewarm or cold. Decoction. Use 4 ounces of fresh plant with 2 pints of water. Boil down gently to 1 pint and strain. Take 3 tablespoons 6 times a day. Gold Extract Use 2 tablespoons of plant with 1 cup of water. Let stand for 8 hours. Juice Use fresh milky leaves and press or electric juicer. For spring tonic, take 1 tablespoon of juice 1 to 3 times a day. Dandelion Root Tincture Use fresh or dried root, chop root into small pieces and fill jar. Jar size depends on how much root you use. Cover the roots with 90 to 100 proof vodka and close the jar with a tight lid. Keep it in a dry cool place, shake the jar often, and let the mixture sit for 6 to 8 weeks. When finished, strain off the tincture with a cheesecloth or a coffee filter into small amber bottles. Suggested serving amount is 1 milliliter, approximately 30 drops, 1 to 3 times per day. And number one deadly mistake to avoid at all costs, do not pick dandelion plants, leaves, or roots from places where pesticides or weed killer is used. Hope Thank you for watching. Hope this helps and don't forget to subscribe and share.